<sighs> it's half three in the morning. I'm not really sure why I've come to an airport. Honda's invited me out to I think Finland for something they just described as a, a really nice driving experience. Mm. I mean, I'm a bit confused. I know they say you meet the nicest people on a Honda, on a bike, but what's a nice, a nice driving experience in a Honda going to be like? Maybe they've got new Jazz. Maybe they've got a Turbo Jazz. That could be quite nice. Or a V8 CRV. Or maybe a really squeaky escalator. A nice, a nice driver. It's a bit vague. Press invites are usually a bit more specific than that. But first, I'm going to sleep because I'm very, very tired. It's far too early for this. Maybe not too early for six litres of Baileys. I mean, we're not off to a good start. It's clearly not going to be a nice experience. When even Nando's is shut because it's so early. Come on, I need my breakfast peri peri eggs. Everything is shut. Not nice so far. Sorry, Honda. landed and it's really sodding cold and a bit snowy. I'm not sure what kind of driving we're going to be doing but I don't think it's going to be very nice. So I've just got to my room. It's getting a bit nicer. I've got my own personal lake. I don't think we're driving on it. There are probably some yobbos with snowmobiles going around on it in a minute. Right, I'm aware I look like a fat Scot of the Antarctic but this is a lot of fun. Snowmobiles, who knew it? They're really good fun. Uh, they're really tricky to turn without feeling like you're definitely going to die and they're faster than you think as well. I like it. It's kind of like all the instability of a motorbike and all the horrors of skiing and you stink of petrol as well. So far, I'm having quite a nice driving experience, which at the end of the day I think is what I'm here for. Oh, berry juice. That was nice. That was a nice, a nice driving experience across the Baltic Sea on snowmobiles. And this sunset, I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up, is uh, pretty ridiculous. Hmm. Nice. nice. So day two, and I'm still having a very nice experience. I'm now standing in the middle of a frozen lake, with various people sliding Civic Type cars around. And we're not actually on a frozen lake, it turns out. This is actually the Baltic Sea. Whee! So apparently it's 80 centimetres of ice down there, which is stopping me from joining some very cold fish. Um, but it's lovely, it's good fun. Here's a very normal one litre Honda Civic. <laughs> this is stuck, it wasn't me. This is what happens when you uh, let professional race drivers have a go. Well, this is a little bit embarrassing to be honest. Turns out Honda didn't invite me out here to have a nice driving experience. There's no Jazz, there's no Turbo Jazz, there's no V8 CRV. I'm here for that. <sighs> it's an ice driving experience, not a nice driving experience. Anyway, it's actually been quite a lot of fun. We've been sliding around some front wheel drive Honda Civic Type R's, some one litre Honda Civics and some 1.5 litre Honda Civics. And actually, do you know what? It's been quite a lot of fun. Like people slate front wheel drive, so it's not that much fun. But on ice, with everything switched off, all the electronics and everything, it can be quite a lot of fun. You know, you just have to kind of like, use the car as a pendulum and kind of like swing between the corners. A few people have stacked it, <laughs> stuffed them in the snow banks. So they're not infallible and they're still quite a lot of fun. So all you people that say front wheel drive is boring, you're boring. It's official. Thanks for watching this absolute nonsense. So they said we could stay in a really nice hotel. I like, 
a nice hotel, but not a nice hotel made of ice. Do you get it? It was a joke. Ice? Nice. Nice.